Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is a double feature review today, looking at two new B25 Votom sets. Looking at Marshy Dog and Snapping Turtle. If you've not bought or seen B25 before, I can really recommend them. They're really good stuff. They are smaller. They are 128 scale. Uh, the figures are 2.5 inches. So they should be similar size to um, to to Mission Fleet by Star Wars. I'll compare the size of the figures a bit later. Uh, their stuff is great because the figures have good articulation for their size and they've got loads of details. So let's have a quick look at the boxes. We see the artwork on the Marshy Dog here. If we look on the back, we can see some pictures of the details look pretty cool. If we look at Snapping Turtle here, slightly different on the front we can see, and the back we can see some details as well. So let me unbag, oh this one's unbagged already, unbag and unbox these. I'll turn the camera around and then we can get a look inside at these and see what they're like. So let's get into this. Okay, here they both are. Marshy Dog is in his standing up mode and Snapping Turtle I've put in his landing mode, which is like this. Uh, Marshy Dog can do the same thing too, but the thing I like and don't like about Marshy Dog is the same thing. This backpack part with these cables coming out looks fantastic. They connect to his lower legs and once they're in, they are, I think, almost impossible to come out without breaking. Can we get a little focus here? Let's try that again. Because they got clips, so I'm have to ask B25, how do they come out? I've been trying, and I don't want to snap anything. Um, oops. So that's one thing I think looks great, but is not uh, not great in terms of practicality, perhaps. Okay, so they both come with figures. I've changed the heads around. The marshy dog, the figure has this head here pretty cool and then the snapping turtle figure i swapped his round head around again to the helmeted head he has this head here pretty cool again both figures come with two extra pairs or alternate pairs sorry of hands okay so let's have a look at marshy dogs he looks really cool flotation tanks there can come off nice gun you can take the side part off indented barrels um, as you'd expect, these do rotate around. The backpack does have some movement, which is nice. You can open the top part here. You can see the uh, figures inside. And then you can open the actual cockpit. And you see him inside there. He's holding on. He's got his pistol in his other hand. He comes with a pistol. The other one doesn't come with a pistol. I will take him out now, however. Um, inside the cockpit you can get a little look. What's nice is this control stick does move, so it makes it a lot easier to put your fig in and out, and a control stick even has some detailing you can see there too. Great job on the internals there. I love the fact that that has articulation, because it makes you have to articulate it um, and go that way if you want to put it into landing mode. Um, in fact, I need to put this one down. It's not in landing mode. Okay, so I'll look at this figure first, and then we will look at the mech in more detail and its articulation. Now, these figures are nice, but bear in mind, they look like toys. They're still not toy toy toys, so bits do come off. They're not for young kids. You even see that the gun, despite being so small, has a drilled barrel. Uh, these guns are compatible with Mega Blocks and Lego figures as well, that same size for the grip. Though you may struggle to get the gun into hands, I actually slid this one in that way and not snap in from that way. Um, I wish this would stay closer to his chest, uh, but that would limit his head articulation. Get a closer look at this helmeted head. Let's get a little zoom, a little low. There we go. Pretty cool. So here's articulation. It's a ball joint, so it will be a standard, very stiff, left, right, up, down, and side to side. His arms don't go all the way around because the shoulder pads. 
Outwards, he does get to just about 90 on both sides. Bicep bend, he gets 90 degrees, which is cool. There's ab crunch, look at that, fantastic. Uh, but you should never force the backwards on these. Legs go relatively okay, but the sculpting on these little holsters gets in the way on the outsides. His legs will pop off if you go too far. There's a thigh twist forwards. Again, legs will pop off if you go too far. Backwards, pretty good. He, does, he can do a full splits, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, so full splits like this is pretty cool. Knee captures a single joint. He gets over 90 degrees. And then the, the foot is on an ankle, is on a ball, so he can turn. It's a little bit stiff. He gets a small dorsiflexation and Michael Jackson, and he gets a small side-to-side -side twist. But he looks really, really quite cool, and they can do quite dynamic posing. Though this head is a little stiff because it's new. Stiffer than his hands. And you see how he scales to his uh, mech. He is about half the size, or slightly smaller than half the size of his mech there. looks really cool um in fact i'll look at both the figures no i'll look at the mech first and i'll come back to the other figure okay so the mech looks really there's loads of articulation points so these are the things i these things do circle go around on the outside he they do cover other ones which are a bit more spiky you can change it over you want lots of these parts can come can be taken off and you can interchange with the other Votoms or the acid rain world stuff that B25 make too. So uh, this scope part does go around for the three areas. You saw that this opens, the cockpit also obviously opens, so you can put the pilot in and out. I showed you the articulation on this part here. The armor comes up, which means his arms go all the way around and will go very far up, even higher if you take that off. His bicep bend is amazing because it's a double joint. Look at that. Very good. Wrist is on a ball. The armor moves. You have articulation in the fingers. So you have three fingers articulated, this finger separate articulation, and the thumb is locked, I think. There's a little notch here that's where the gun slot into then you close the fingers you can see on this side here they hold it really well and there's a bicep twist too the gun does look pretty cool um, the flotation tanks come off but be careful you might pull off the uh, side armor here which which goes down afterwards um, and they're they're a nice feature but they just really impede the uh, articulation a lot Put it down, I can get his arms down there. You see how the shoulder has that extra movement there? Great articulation. Hips, let's put this part up. Let's put this part up as well. And he will go to a full split, but these wires at the back aren't too keen on that. And those are not easy to come out. Uh, it's going to really affect his... Let me take that off and go down. There we go. So forwards, he'll go forwards, backwards, and this is where it's going to be really awkward doing that at the same time with the wires in. He does go backwards. He'll get to a near enough for full splits without these wires in. Let's get his legs down a bit. He has a double kneecap, so he'll go really tight again, these get in the way, and they look like in a snap, which is making me not feel very happy. Um, ankles, the armor does move here, so you get extra articulation. The feet pop down, and they're on a ball, and they turn, and they do pop back up again. So it's amazing articulation. There's a waist as well, and it's also a forwards and backwards and a turn, but again, if you've got this plugged in, I regret plugging it in now. I need to work out work out how to get those out. Uh, you're going to limit your articulation on the waist. Really, really good articulation on these. They are absolutely fantastic. I highly recommend the B25 stuff. Great company, well for out toys. Very, very, very nice. 
Um, I want to do a dynamic pose, but it's going to be really awkward with those wires in the back again. So it's a simple pose, I think. Very, very easy to pose your figures. Very, very nice. In fact, let me get the guy set up. I'll swap his head around because that little rebreathing part doesn't sit flush to his chest. It looks a bit strange. So I'll put his uh, standard head on, the head he comes with in the box back on. Okay. Please stand up for me. Come on. And there we go. Great looking figure and a great looking mech. Okay, let me move this to one side so it's not an hour away. I'll keep the other little orange bits there for now. Now let me move them all out of the way for now, including his uh, alternate pairs of hands. So the other one, this is in landing mode, like so. Then he's had the gun there, obviously, and very easy to take out of landing mode. You just have to move everything around. These pads do come off. And it's actually a quite interesting system where they've got these double ball joint uh, links to them. It's interesting because you get extra, extra articulation and the pads move themselves. You can see how far out his legs come. Look at that. And they do pop back down again. Just for a more natural look, which I'm going to sort out in a second. Um, okay. That makes him super tall with his legs like this. So the figure, this is a nice system. This comes up and over. You can see the figure is inside. And the control sticks are actually, get this open, inside here. Take the figure out. This cockpit's not as good. It's not really deep enough. A bit deeper would be better, but it's decent enough still. And these don't turn because obviously the position they're in. We'll come back to this in a second. We'll look at the figure. He doesn't come with a sidearm, a pistol, and his legs do pop off a bit easier than the uh, other one. This is his helmeted head. Looks pretty cool, I think. L little sort of goggles going on there. Very, very, uh, very nice. Uh, here's the same articulation, but maybe a bit less in the shoulders because of his armor there. But otherwise, he's the same. His head's slightly easier with the helmet on than the other guy is. Shame doesn't come with a pistol. Okay, the uh, mech, nice gun. You can take out the side handle here, take off the ammo there. You get a nice shoulder sort of a held there. You see, if I take these off, it's a bit easier. He said he's attached these two balls here, will attach to the armor, and these actually can be taken off too. And then this will fold back in. There we go. To get a regular looking snapping turtle mech. And that is so well engineered, really, really well. Fantastically engineered. Uh, these guys do have exceptionally good articulation which is really, really nice. And one of the reasons why it's really, really nice is if you see how they've got their gun here, he, I don't sure he can actually reach with his little hands. He won't be able to reach it because of his body. If his body was slightly smaller, or maybe his arms can come across, it comes across quite a bit. He can almost get to that gun, that handle, almost. But he needs a much longer arm or smaller body and he can grip the handle there. Which is a shame, but the articulation is fantastic. Okay, so he comes in this uber big backpack, which we can see here on the back. This one doesn't have articulation, just a pop on and a pop off. Find a little clips, gonna sort it out. There we go. Looks pretty cool, but there's nothing that's articulated in there. I'll take the gun out. So the gun, once you've got the fingers open. You can just slide out and it should come off the uh, peg in the hand. That peg is there. And you see about the articulation. So you can articulate these three fingers and this one separately. So you can point if you wanted them to. Or just make a fist. 
So he has less articulation. There's no head turn, nothing on the head apart from the opening we saw earlier. Shoulder parts come up again, so his arms can go very, very high. His arms will go all the way around. Bicep. He should get a bit tighter than that. No. He gets over or about 90 on his bicep, and then the sculpt does get in the way. There is waist. There's a forwards, backwards, and a turn on the waist, which is cool. Legs. If you move the armor pieces up, he gets to the full splits. On the uh, forwards, backwards, again, he'll get to uh, full splits. He does have a thigh twist. He has a double kneecap, and we saw that that can come out and extend down for a ridiculous amount of pose. And that's more for his landing mode, you know. Uh, but it just you can get a ridiculous difference in height by using that. The parts that do the armor do come off, I told you, and they do move around. What's nice about these is if you do have the armor attached, because they move forwards and backwards and they're both on balls and they both move up and down, this sort of shin armor is really highly articulated. So that can come forwards quite far, you can see, and that has movement in it as well, which will really help if you've got that armor on him. Very, very nice looking mechs. I like them both a lot. Uh, but then again, I like all the B25 stuff. The next release they've got, it will be Robotech. I, is it Robotech? Yeah, I think it's Robotech they have. Or Macross. But I think it's Robotech they have next. And then after that, they'll go back to Acid Rain World. So I'm hoping for some Omanga goodness from them because they have showed some prototypes before. Okay, so... Which one do I prefer out of these two mechs? I prefer Marshy Dog, except for I can't figure out yet how to detach these damn wires or these damn cables, whatever, from his feet. That's easy enough to take that out. But these that clip inside, I can see the top of the clip there, but I can't see the bottom of the clip. But you know, though I pull, I'm probably going to break something, so I'll probably make, send my message say. Is there a certain way, you can see that the plastic is already stressing, there's a little white mark there. Is there any certain way to take these out? I need to find that out. Uh, so I think he looks slightly better, but they're both really, really cool. I'll put some links into the videos to the other Votum stuff they've done already, which is all great stuff as well. And what I'll do now is I will compare the figures to the... um. Star Wars Mission Fleet, which I haven't opened yet. So here we have Star Wars Mission Fleet figures. And they're supposed to be 2.5 inches. This is the Bad Batch. So if I get my uh, one of my Votoms figures here, let's get him upright. Let's have a look. Yeah. Pose. He looks bigger, but bear on he's in front. He's actually almost perfect scale. I'll put him next to there. They pose fantastically well. Um... I would suspect that the Votoms have, sorry, yeah, the uh, B25 have better articulation. They've got the thigh turn, legs go outwards as well. But they can work in the same verse and use the same vehicles pretty much. So that's pretty cool. So we've got two fantastic sets here. I think B25 are knocking out of the park with their stuff. Uh, they do have weathering in speech marks. If you look on the top here. Got that brown mark that's their weathering basically it's just paint added in the process or coloring added in the process um but i have seen some people online weather their acid rain b25 stuff with you know proper weathering effect and it looks fantastic so it's something you can do if you've got the time and the patience as well great sets good stuff by b25 and i do recommend these stuff thanks for watching please subscribe click on the notification icons and today let's news reviews videos etc I'll be back soon in more awesome actual video reviews for you guys. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.